no topic makes me more unhappy than this one. You know, I've fought for women my whole life, and the whole idea was you get women to the top, and they'll promote other women. Here you had a woman who was the most senior member of the Intelligence Committee, a strong, moderate, thoughtful, assertive woman like Jane Harmon. And what's the first thing Nancy Pelosi does? But Passover, Jane Harmon made a big deal over whether she was going to put pick Alcee Hastings, who, with all due respect, is one step away from being a common right. criminal. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's very distressing, Catherine, to see a qualified woman passed over when we have so few women mm -hmm. in leadership positions in the House of Representatives. All right, well, I'm going to try and play devil's advocate sure. here. Look, Nancy Pelosi is the first female speaker of the House. She wants to be a success for many reasons. Shouldn't she pick the person who she really thinks is the right fit for the job, not just pick Jane Harmon because she's a woman as well? Of course. And if Jane Harmon was number four or five on the seniority list, mm -hmm. or even number three, you and I would say to each other, she should do, you know, abide by the system. But here you had a situation where the woman was number one in terms of seniority. I don't see Nancy Pelosi skipping over men to go to more junior women in order to ensure more diversity. So I think what, what I'm troubled by, and, and I know I speak for a lot of other women who I've heard from on the telephone recently, is that when you have a woman, there she is in her Armani, when you have a woman <laughs> in the number one position, one of the reasons so many of us Democratic women have been fighting to get women at the top is not because we're interested in tokenism. I couldn't care less uh -huh. about tokenism. It's because you want to see a woman promoting other powerful women. I've known Jane Harmon a long time. I know so she's why was aggressive. She, so why was she passed over then? Well, the rumor is, what I hear on the streets, is these two women, both of whom I've known mm -hmm. a long time, don't get along. Why? Because Jane's aggressive. Jane's been on television more than Nancy. Oh, now, it's, uh... that's <laughs> absurd, isn't it, Catherine? Well, I it mean, sounds pretty petty. The story is that Nancy was literally counting the number of times Jane had been on the Sunday morning shows compared to the number of times Nancy had been on the but Sunday morning shows. But you know what the, pro shows. the problem with that is, is that often people accuse women of being catty and petty when they're in these very senior positions. And what you're telling me is that that may have in fact been the case. I know. Isn't that <laughs> depressing? That's what I keep hearing. I've spent two weeks on this issue, talking to people, listening to people, and while the stated reason is that Jane Harmon wasn't tough enough oh on goodness. George Bush, she was too huh. moderate, I just don't buy it. I think the real reason is you had two strong, powerful women. This is the kind of stuff I detest. Uh, we're going to have to leave it there, but we could talk a lot longer, I know. We could. Thank Hate you, Susan. Hate it when you see women hurting other women. Well, it's, uh, it happens for sure. Doesn't it? Keep it here on Fox. Big Story Weekend is at the top of the hour. Here's Julie Banderas with a look.